Good morning, everyone, and thank you for attending our presentation, where we will show you how the Bosch B and G series intrusion panels may be integrated with Asa Abloy Aperio wireless access control using Connect One cloud hosted services. I'm Dan Simon, technical director with Connected Technologies, the provider of Connect One, and I'm joined today by Tom Meckler, regional marketing manager for Bosch, and Rick Steger, regional director with Asa Abloy. Tom will begin the presentation with an introduction of the intrusion panel line, then I'll talk about Connect One and some key features and how it ties everything together. And lastly, Rick will speak about the Aperio wireless access line and how you can get started using uh, Aperio. First, some quick housekeeping. Uh, if there's any questions, please submit those to us in the chat box and we will collect those after the presentation and respond back to you uh, through email. And uh, just a note, we are recording the presentation, so you'll get a video link afterwards uh, for and anyone else that registered will get that as well. So now I'll turn the presentation over to Tom, who will talk about the Bosch intrusion line. Thanks, Dan. And as you pointed out, I am the Regional Marketing Manager for Intrusion and Access Control. So I want to thank everybody for joining today and hearing about this new capability from Connected Technologies and, and some of the integration they've done. Just to give you a general overview of Bosch, if you're not familiar with us, you know, we make a full line of products for the low voltage security industry. Uh, of course, intrusion and access control are near and dear to my heart, but we also make video products. We make IP cameras as well as recording and storage devices. We have professional sound systems, including conferencing and public address voice alarm systems. And of course, we have a full line of fire alarm systems as well. Now, next slide, please, Dan. We're talking about our intrusion line and our intrusion panels are the products that are, are integrated with the Connect One technology. We really have two products in that line. It's our B-series panels, which uh, go from 16 points or zones or inputs, we call them points, all the way up to 96 points. And then our G-series, which is on the next slide, and those panels go up to 599 points. Uh, next slide, please, Dan. And these panels also support uh, access control. Some of our panels support integrated fire. And if you notice down in the lower left-hand corner there, all the panels come with a built-in Ethernet port. And that's really our connection to the world, our connection over our cloud service to the Connect One app and connected technologies. Uh, next slide, Dan. This gives you a general idea of the breadth of the line. Uh, there's really six control panels in the line starting with the smallest panel, the B3512, all the way up to our large commercial panel, which is the B9512. Uh, these panels support up to 2,000 users, up to 32 areas, up to 32 access control doors. Uh, there, there's a very unique feature with integrated IP cameras that you can only get from Bosch, which is a, a very interesting uh, feature that a lot of customers are taking advantage of. And we'd love to have the opportunity to present that to all of you if, if we get a chance to do that in the future. Next slide, please. Uh, from a keypad standpoint, you really get a, a, a wide variety, a right, wide choice of keypads from the traditional telephone style uh, keypad with, a, with an LCD display all the way up to our current uh, touchscreen keypads. And one interesting thing about our touchscreen keypads you might be aware that Bosch is one of the largest suppliers to the automotive industry, and we, not our division, but the same company, Bosch, makes a lot of the info, uh, inf infotainment systems that are in the dashboard of your car. And we work with the user interface experts who design the ones that go inside cars to design the user interface to our touchscreen keypad. So we find that users, when they start using our touchscreen keypad, just know how to use it because it's so familiar. They don't realize that they're using a similar uh, interface every day when they when they get behind the wheel. Uh, next slide, please, Dan. 
Bosch is used in more than a million commercial applications throughout the U.S. And while that might be retail, office space, banking, education, government, or military, really Bosch, we focus on the commercial customer and we have a full line of products that are dedicated to that uh, commercial customer. This partnership with Connected Technologies and the application that they have created and the really tight integration to our Bosch panels really gives you a great solution for your customers. Dan's gonna talk about that more in just a second here. But now that we have the additional step of being able to control these offline locks, boy, it's really just a great overall solution, all brought to you by Connected Technologies. I wanna thank these guys for what a great job they have done uh, for our mutual customers with the technology that they provide to you. So that's all from me for now, and thank you very much for the opportunity and joining today and learning about this this new uh, possibility that is brought to you by Bosch, Asa Abloy, and Connected Technology. Well, thank you very much, Tom. So um, now I'm going to speak about uh, Connect One, and Connect One is a cloud-hosted application which provides management functions for you and your end customer. It integrates intrusion, access control, video surveillance, energy management, and environmental monitoring in one application. This is all for one or multiple locations in the same screens. Connect One has a patent protected method of combining multiple location information for ease of viewing, control, and management of systems. The solution has a broad market use as it can be used in just about any different environment. The goal of Connect One is to simplify the life of you and your customer. Sometimes integrating multiple systems can add complexity. However, with Connect One, we strive to keep it simple. Utilizing the Bosch intrusion line and Aperio wireless access control, there is a tight integration of the intrusion status with access decisions. For instance, denying access if armed without disarm privileges and disarming automatically upon access when allowed. That's just one example, but the general idea is that intrusion should be a part of every installation, even if only in certain areas of the facility. Not only does this provide more protection for your customer, but it also brings additional RMR with monitoring services. Finally, the combined systems will offer lower installation costs and simplified training in one application. The Connect One application is web supported in all major browsers and is a responsive design for any screen size. We also have native iOS and Android apps which follow the exact same design and function. So there's only one interface to learn and support. The end user can have as many users as they need logged in simultaneously with different levels of customized permissions. Once logged in, they will have the capability for viewing, controlling, and managing the complete system, again, for one or multiple locations. There is a complete audit trail, which provides accountability and helps you in troubleshooting assistance so you can see what was done. Every experience is branded with your, the dealer name, logo, and color scheme. We also have a complete dealer portal application where you can set up and manage your customers, including the ability to log in and see exactly what your customer sees for easy remote support without needing to know any customer passwords. Connect One offers easily customized and robust notification options, which can be managed by your customer. These include email, text messaging, push notifications, on-screen alerts, and also Microsoft Teams integration. The event message can be customized as well as include video verification images for review at the time the event occurred. In addition to instant notifications, Customized daily, weekly, or monthly reports can also be delivered.
any event can be linked to cameras from supported platforms. They're stored, um, images are stored in our cloud for archival reasons and delivered to the customer in a notification. Many times this feature is used with alarm events on intrusion and access granted or denied events with the access system. But any event is compatible, such as just a zone or point opening or closing, even when disarmed. GeoView is a method of interacting with systems mapped to satellite views in Google Maps. Optionally, you can also upload a floor plan, which can be placed right on the satellite images. It can provide overall health status and a quick glance, as shown on the screenshot on the left. And it also provides real-time status of all the alarm areas, doors, zones, and cameras, along with graphical control such as unlocking a door or viewing a camera, all from the Google Maps view. The safe passage feature was designed so employers can ensure employees are safe to be in the building. The current most obvious use is related to COVID, but many other use, uses exist as well. The employer sets up templates which can include certain daily questions and required checkpoints that must, must be accessed. If the employee doesn't complete the emailed questions, doesn't satisfy the requirements, or fails to access the intended checkpoint, then management is immediately notified when the employee attempts to access the building. Another common application is for hazardous areas of the facility, which requires additional training certification to be completed prior to granting access. All documentation is securely archived in the cloud and can be easily reviewed by um, the employers. If management has any doubt, they can ask the employee to pres present their mobile badge from the Connect One app, since their user's safe passage status will always be shown there current. You can see from the images on the right, the left one is approved with a green border and the other one has an orange border showing that it has been expired. As we stated, the Aperio integration is tightly mapped with the intrusion panel. This allows for a simple built-in method to make access decisions with the intrusion status for added user convenience, such as disarming upon access, or to prevent false alarms, um, such as preventing access if armed or preventing a door unlock schedule to activate if armed. All of these decisions are made on site with the Connect One Access Expander, so any internet interruption does not impact local access control. The Access Expander also provides an easy outbound encrypted connection to the Connect One cloud with no on site configuration necessary. In fact, all data is encrypted in every link, the cloud to the access expander, the Bosch panel to the access expander, Aperio hubs to the access expander, and the wireless link from the Aperio hub to the lock. So it's very secure. Pairing Aperio wireless access control and the Bosch intrusion platform has several advantages. First, it is more secure, since hardwire readers on the non-secure side of the door, which essentially is on the outside of the intrusion protection, may be open to tampering. For instance, a WGAN-based interface may be exposed to hacking attempts, a power short could defeat keypad bus circuits and or overload the panel, and Ethernet-based readers provide an easy method to patch into the customer's network. The fully encrypted wireless technology with the Perio readers remove every one of these vulnerabilities. The permissions for access are separated from alarm areas and doors, so you no longer need to program additional areas just to specify a uh, different permission by door. Also, all scheduling for access times, days, holidays are configurable within Connect One, including door unlock schedules as well. Now your customer has complete convenience and control. There's also more capability. 
with over 200 access doors, 1,000 permission profiles, 250 time schedules, 50 holidays, and 90,000 credentials with only one control panel, which also will contribute to lowering installation costs. The Connect One Cloud is compatible with the entire Bosch B and G series intrusion control panels that, that Tom outlined and the Aperio wireless access control as we pointed out, including the ability to integrate further with video systems and environmental monitoring, energy management, mass notification systems, and even a cloud-based badge printing service from Instant Card. I'll now turn the presentation over to Rick, who will speak about the Aperio technology in more detail. Hey, good uh, morning, everyone. Dan, thanks for that. Um, and, and we'll kind of get into it. And you know, just like to uh, kind of point out, my name is Rick Steger, and I'm one of the regional managers uh, with Asa Abloy. And what I'd like to point out, and every time I, I talk about Asa Abloy, everybody goes, yeah, I know who they are. Well, we're big, right? We've got you know all these employees worldwide and, and all that happy stuff. But really, what does that mean? Right, when we start breaking it down to all these different brands that we have. So you can see these are the brands that we represent, so to speak, in the United States. But when we break it on down, you're gonna see some very familiar um, uh, brands that, 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 that we work with. Um, if you look at the electronic security hardware, I think I made a little bit of a bad uh, uh, circle there, but HES Electric Strike, Securitron Maglox, or you know, another one being the Yale product or, or alarm controls for our, our more uh, cost effective uh, mag locks and things like that. But I like to, to break it down and, and really get people to understand that Asa Abloy, we own a lot of different companies, uh, but in the field, what we're all about is providing support. Um, you know, and, and here we are, you know, we're talking about access control and we're talking about mechanical hardware. That's what, what Asa Abloy does, we make door locks, everything around the door. Uh, but it's kind of neat that, uh, you know, for, for a few years running there, 13, 14, 16, and 18, to be a door hardware company and being the top 100 uh, innovators in the world. Uh, as a matter of fact, a couple of times we were even placed above Apple. So uh, we're always innovating. But, you know, having said that, and I, I showed you that we are a, a big company, but what we do have in the United States is we have 19 different sales offices. So, you know, virtually, you know, the, the, the major cities that we're looking at, uh, we've got coverage, but, but what does that mean? Um, you know, what it means in the access control environment is we have local support, right? We have our EMS, and we're good with, with acronyms here. So our EMS is the electromechanical specialist, and their main focus in the world is everything with a wire or everything with a battery that Asa Abloy makes. Uh, they're responsible for the training, the certification, uh, and even, you know, post-sales field support. So if there's issues out there, uh, you guys have questions, we're there for you. Um, the other thing is, uh, we've got our ISS, and that's the Integrated Solution Specialist. And they're really, really um, focused on, on driving business with our partners and with our end-user team um, to kind of share the love of Asa Abwe at that end-user level and also work uh, somewhat with the community integrators uh, such as you. Uh, and then finally, we've got our aftermarket business development rep. Uh, so really in every, every territory, we're gonna have these three uh, people that are there to help you, uh, whether it's sales, whether it's technical. And I think that's what really sets us apart uh, from, from you know, other products and other companies that are out there. But having said that, you know, Dan was mentioning uh, the Aperio product. And, and the Aperio product is, uh, I don't wanna say it's terribly complex and, and the interface uh, that they have put together uh, with the connected technologies is, is absolutely fantastic and it was done in record time. So congratulations to you. Uh, but what we do is we want to ensure that anytime our product, the Imperial products are installed, um, you know, that the customer, the end customer is having a good experience with it. So, you know, along with that support, um, we have a certification process and training. And Imperial is only sold through certified integrators. So in order to, to resell this, to install it, um, you know, we've got to make sure that uh, if you're interested, we get you uh, trained uh, as a certified uh, integrator. Now this certification 
is provided, like I said, by our EMS, our electromechanical specialist, uh, and there's no charge to it. The investment on, on your part is really the time uh, for the education, uh, which at the end of the day is really uh, going to pay dividends uh, when we get out there. So, you know, enough about the company. Uh, what if we talk just a little bit further about the technology? And I know Dan had mentioned that, um, you know, what, what we've got the ability to do is to take away a lot of that wiring. And I was uh, with a customer, I don't know, about a year ago, and we were talking about uncertainty and risk. Um, and, and he brought it up to me and said, you know, Rick, the real risk out there uh, isn't if wireless is going to work. I think we all know it works. It's the risk of cabling, right? What do I have above that ceiling? And how long is it going to take me or my technician uh, to finally install it? So, so this right here kind of gives you that traditional access control. And, you know, I know different manufacturers are going to differ a little bit. But when we look at from that door controller to the strike, to the reader, to the Rex and the DPS, um, that's all that risk that we have. And that's the extra labor that we're looking at uh, with respect to uh, a hardwired system. So when we take it then to the Aperio system uh, and using right the intrusion panel and the access expander, you can see what we've eliminated. Now the hub that we have there uh, is a wireless hub. And I wanna be very clear that it's not Wi-Fi. What we're using, it's trademarked uh, Aperio. And Aperio is that, that short range, I don't wanna say short range because we're getting really good range out of it. But if you're familiar with any of the home automation things, uh, initially um, it was Z-Wave and Zigbee, which were the two uh, that we heard about. Well, this really is on that same level as a Zigbee. It's really our own uh, proprietary modified Zigbee that we're using. And what this allows us to do is to eliminate that last, that last run um, and communicate to the hub. Now, the neat thing about it, uh, unlike other products that I've seen out there, whether it's you know, residential or uh, commercial, this hub and the way that we've got it uh, structured with uh, connected technologies is the fact that it's a one to 16, meaning one hub can control up to 16 devices. And that hub um, you know, is gonna communicate back to the intrusion panel and now we've eliminated wiring, provided we have uh, the, the wireless um, uh, range that we're looking for, for up to 16 devices. And, you know, guys, I, I know, you know, in most applications, the door density is not going to be there. And on average, uh, what we see is in a standard door application, probably three to five doors per hub that we're able to uh, communicate because the way that we specify the wireless range is 50 feet through two construction walls, right? So what does that mean? Uh, that means that we're trying to get a baseline so that if you're looking at an application, uh, you've got the ability to at least look at, you know, the overall layout without a wireless walkthrough and, and, and be confident that we're going to get that 50 feet. In reality, when we don't have the construction walls, uh, where we've got a better line of sight, whatever it might be, uh, we see, you know, that 80 to 120 feet uh, is very common out there. Now, when we look at it, I think talking about wireless locks and all that happy stuff, most people think about just the door and that door lock that's going to go on there. Well, what we've done with Asaboy is we have taken it to the next level with a complete suite of products. So, you know, if we look at it, the, the, the Imperial wireless technology, it's a global technology that we have. So, you know, whether we're in the United States or whether we're in Australia, UK, doesn't matter. We're using this as the same platform. So we've got the resources behind it, not only uh, to ensure that the wireless is, you know, absolutely fantastic, but also the suite of products that we can bring to market. So what I'll do is I'm gonna go through what we have. And, and, and the reason this is important is you know, when we look at our current customers, a lot of times it's easier to, you know, grow a current customer than it is to find a new one. And hopefully by looking at some of the, um, the options that we have here, it, it could open your eyes to some opportunities with existing customers or, you know, moving forward, like Dan said, um, the lowered install cost. And, you know, I also like to say taking away the risk that we have of a traditional hardware system. So this right here, uh, happens to be the IN100 lock. And what it is, 
Uh, it's basically, you know, if you're familiar with locking hardware, it's going to be a mortise lock, it'll be a cylindrical lock, or it can even be a crash bar exit device. Um, built into it is the reader. Uh, we've got a request to exit that is in uh, the lever. Um, and also we have an external door position switch that connects into the lock to, to provide you, you know, with everything that you're used to uh, with respect to a hardware system. But the cool thing is, is we are looking at wireless back to that hub. So the only installation that we have uh, with respect to this happens at the door. Now, one of the things that um, you know, we look at with wireless technology, and for those of you that are, are familiar with Wi-Fi, uh, one of the things that's very challenging with Wi-Fi is the fact that it can be a very big battery hog. Now we do have a Wi-Fi product, but we're not talking about that today, and it's not interfaced here. And, and one of the main uh, advantages of the Aperio remember this, this modified Zigbee, is the fact that we can bring that pulse of that reader down to about five seconds, meaning uh, we've got a virtual real-time wireless system that allows us to lock or, or lock down or however we can configure that with the system um, in, a, in a very short order. So, you know, we, for all, all intents and purposes, uh, consider this to be that real-time uh, technology. So, Everything that you need is right there at the door. It's battery operated, and these are standard alkaline batteries that we're using. Um, and we connect back to that hub, and away we go. So the, the, the cost savings that we have uh, really come down to uh, the time of installation and how quickly we can get in and out of a building. And, you know, in today's environment, um, the less time that we have to stay in a building, uh, the easier it is for us, I think, uh, to to you know, make that customer happy with the COVID uh, situations we've got going on. So you know, along with that, um, when we look at um, the various applications that we do have, still on that Aperio uh, uh, wireless, and we can mix and match door locks and, and cabinet locks, which I'm talking about right now. So the K100 is our cabinet lock, and that, that comes from uh, HES. So a lot of you are familiar with the HES strikes. Uh, this one has been around for a while, but as an Aperio product, uh, we've had great success in, in many different environments. Uh, right now, uh, a big one happens to be healthcare, uh, where we're trying to, um, one, provide auditable access control uh, for any of the drugs and things like that that we're looking at. And also, uh, it does even ad allow us to have a less contact environment where when we're delivering um, medication right through a hospital, nobody has to go into that room aside from the attending nurse. So it's, it's been a really good success that we've had there. But along with that, um, as a matter of fact, we're deploying um, a, a, a sample TriMe uh, tomorrow at a casino where they are looking at controlling uh, all of their lockers. So, you know, very many types of applications we have out there, but, but think about it. It allows us to look at our current customers uh, and expand from there. And then we have our KS100. So as we get more into this information technology, we look at you know, co-location of um, uh, data centers and things like that, or even uh, just a customer. You know, it used to be good enough for us to say, hey, you know what, we're gonna put a, a reader and a strike on the doorway into our IDF closet or our, our server room. <laughs> but as we move forward, there's more of a need and a desire to have access control to those individual cabinets, right? So this right here was made uh, in, 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 in form with that to allow us to deploy and, and provide access control in multiple uh, uh, environments. So with this, uh, generally it, it's gonna fit a standard and I believe it's 25 millimeters by 150 millimeters, uh, the standard cabinet lock uh, on a rack. However, we've done custom applications uh, to really uh, take this to the next level um, and once again, you know, it's an up and coming product. And as we get it out there, we show the end user. And I think that's the real beauty of it. When we start talking about outside of that door, how can we give you access control? That's where we really start having a good conversation. Now, this one right here uh, is our G100. And, you know, the G100 is kind of a unique animal. And if you've ever done an all glass door, uh, it becomes challenging uh, from a hardware point of view. Uh, we can use a shear lock or we can use a drop bolt. A lot of people don't like the drop bolts, especially the AHGs or AHJs, 
uh, but we've used shear locks at the header. And what does that cause? It causes a lot of noise. It causes a lot of adjustment issues. And, you know, we from Securitron, we have one, and we sell boatloads of them. However, this right here is a very easy install with no drilling, right? It's a clamshell type uh, onto the door application that allows you to go wireless to uh, that hub again on an all glass opening. The, the neat thing about it is when we look at an all glass opening, the architects, uh, they design it with, with aesthetics in mind. And when we start putting you know, our mag locks up there and we stop the swing of a door, whatever it might be, uh, this ends up being something that uh, they really like to look at. So all the, the properties that we're talking about with Aperio, the range, uh, the car technologies that we can use with it, um, the fact that they're battery operated, those are all similar. Uh, and you know, as I mentioned before, um, we can mix and match these technologies um, throughout. And the final thing that we have, which is brand new, and we will start shipping this sometime in April, happens to be a wireless electric strike. So how did we come up with this one and why? When we look at it, you know, and we look at the standard door locks that are out there, we look at the integration community, and yeah, there are some integrators and, and security dealers that have no problem, um, you know, working on the door. But more often than not, um, it, it, it can be challenging. So realizing that HES has had, you know, 20 plus years of training the field on how to cut strikes in, this became a natural progression for us to say, you know what, you can cut a strike in, and now this is gonna be wireless from that strike and that reader uh, back to the Aperio um, platform. And the neat thing is, is when, you know, Connected Technologies, when they wrote the interface to Aperio, you know, as we bring on these new products, it, it's pretty much automatically dumped in that it's going to work with it. So now we've taken it away from just being that, that whole lock set mounted on a door. We've taken away the need for that hardware, and we've given the ability to get even more competitive with this wireless situation with a product that I think more people in the security and integration market are comfortable with, and that happens to be an electric strike. So, you know, kind of gives you the summary of that complete package uh, of products that we have. And like I said, these are a couple of slides on it. Um, it's two AA batteries. We, we very much uh, recommend that we're using uh, a lithium battery, and we spec that in the, um, in the, uh, the, the instruction sheets. Uh, but, you know, very cool stuff. And we keep on coming out with new products. And I think the good thing about uh, Asabloy is the fact that, you know, you saw it in the, uh, the, the, the preliminary slide where, you know, we were a top 100 innovator. And it's our goal to continue with new products. And as we have, you know, new ideas and new ways that we can use access control to secure more openings, um, that's what we're looking for. So without further ado, Dan, uh, hopefully I didn't go over time, but any questions like Dan said, uh, feel free put them in the uh, put them in the chat and we'll make sure that we get in touch with you uh, as far as you know learning more about our solutions my contact information is there Dan's contact information is there and Tom's contact um, feel free to reach out with us uh, out to us because a, a further discussion about the capabilities of all these systems uh, I think can really help us all win and, and uh, you know get more recurring revenue and secure more doors with access control so uh, Dan, I'll, I'll turn it back over to you, buddy. All right. Well, thank you very much, Rick and Tom, as well as everyone viewing the presentation today. And um, as we said, uh, here's our contact information. You can contact us directly. Um, and uh, also, if you did leave any questions in the chat box, uh, like I said, we'll respond to those in, through uh, your email in a timely manner. So again, thank you everyone and uh, hope you all have a great day.